this video, we will be overviewing how to use custom fields. We will be covering custom fields overview, creating different types of custom fields, using custom fields, custom fields in reports, and lastly, custom fields in documents. Custom fields let you create a custom field anywhere in the Magaya program. This allows you great flexibility in using the Magaya programming and adapting it to your specific needs. To use custom fields, we'll go to Maintenance and then Configuration. You may also choose to go to Options and Configuration. On the left-hand side, we'll select Custom Fields. Here are the options for creating custom fields and where you can create them. The elements, the customizable elements, allow you to select where you would like to create a custom field. For example, you may create one in an account, in a bill, in a booking, and so on. Let's demonstrate how to create one for a warehouse receipt. We'll select warehouse receipt and we'll select add. Here we get the custom field definition window. The display name is what how it's going to appear in the warehouse receipt. So for example, I'll create one called a text field. Over here on the right hand side you select what type of field it is and the options are text, integer, which is a number, a decimal, a pick list, a yes no, a date, a money, or a lookup. And we're going to demonstrate one of each. Here you can tell yourself to remind yourself what this custom field is about. So I'll just say text field. Down at the bottom we can select if this is for internal use only. This means the field will not be available to the customer via the live track feature. If you'd like to enable that you simply put the check mark next to it. Allow to build reports by this field if you select that the custom field will now be available as a column and also to build custom reports with that column. And of course field is inactive if you'd like to disable that custom field. The maximum length you can define the maximum length of characters for this custom field. We'll select OK. Let's create another one. We'll select add and we're going to create one now that's an integer and we'll just call this integer and allow to build reports by this field. Let's create another one, and we'll call this one decimal. And we'll name it decimal again as the display name. And again, I'm going to allow to build reports. I'll create another one, and this is going to be called the pick list. Now I'm going to call it pick list, or I may call it uh, cargo inspected. Okay then the pick list I can create what I want in my own pick list. I can say yes, no, maybe, in process, damaged, whatever I'd like I can create in my pick list. And then allow to build reports again. Let's continue by creating another one. A yes, no. let's say cargo repacked okay, and it'll be a yes no drop down list allow to build reports we'll say yes again and let's continue we'll create another one called a date and we'll say uh, inspected date and we'll continue a money and let's say insurance amount. Precision is how many decimals you'd like and we'll leave it for two right now. A lot of the reports. We'll select OK. And then we'll create the last one which is a lookup. And we'll say inspected by. And This allows you to pick another list in Magaya that you'd like to link to. So the lookup will say look in the employees and allow to build reports by this field as well. Click on OK. Now let's go back to our warehouse seat so we can see how these custom fields appear in the Magaya program. We'll select warehousing, warehouse receipts, and we can simply add a new one or edit an existing one. And I'll select add for example. 
and I'll scroll over, as you can see now I have a custom tab that's been created by the Magaya program. If I click on that, I have all the fields that I created. So for example, my first one, the text field, is a free text field that I can simply type into or enter a number. The next one is an integer. I have to enter a number here. If I enter a character, it tells me that's an unacceptable character. The next one is a decimal. So we can put 1.01, .01 for example. Cargo inspected. This was my pick list that I created. Yes, no, maybe, in process, or damaged. Cargo repacked. That was a yes, no field. Inspected date. That was a date field that we requested. So that there I have the calendar to select the date. Insurance amount. That was a value field or a dollar amount. We can enter one dollar and if you have multi-currency enabled in your system it will give you the different currencies that you have enabled in your system to select from. And then lastly inspected was a lookup and we linked that back to the employees in Magaya so that's now a drop down with the employee list. So as you can see creating custom fields in Magaya is very easy anywhere in the program. Now let's take a moment and look at how these fields appear in reports. So if we go to warehouse receipt list, immediately when we go to actions and choose columns, we now have those fields available in our column list. So for example, I can add here text, integer, decimal, cargo inspected, and so on, and I would have that now in my column list. If we go to reports, we now have reports, the ones that we selected allowed to build reports, we have those in here. Now let's suppose you wanted a custom field to be added to a document. We're not going to cover how to create custom documents, but I'll just give an example on how it would work. The first thing you need to know is the field name. So if we go back to configuration, back to our custom fields, let's say we wanted the cargo inspected field to appear in our warehouse receipt. Okay. The internal name that Magai has created for you is cargo underscore inspected. So that's the name we need to know. Let's go now to our document designer and see how we would add that to a warehouse receipt. So I'll select new and this launches the document designer for us. Next we'll select warehouse receipt because this is where we want the document to appear in the Magaya program. And we'll select OK. And of course we can create a new one from scratch but I'll take the existing one and just modify it to meet my needs. So I'll select file then open and I'll look for the warehouse receipt and that imports the existing warehouse receipt and what I'll do is I'll just add that field right here underneath the address to demonstrate how this works now I'm not going to cover how to use the document designer as I said earlier that'll be covered in a separate video on how to create custom forms to drag the custom field in here, I select custom field and I drag and drop that field in. The internal name is the name that we looked at earlier, so it's cargo underscore inspected. We select OK. And now we've got that field here. And I can leave the field right here or I can create a label. And I'll go ahead and create a label. First thing I'll do is I'll create a box. And I want the box to be that color. So we'll say insert and then rectangle. And we'll just add another rectangle here. And then we'll add a uh, 
a label on it. If we wanted to, we could put a box around this also, and I'll do that also. I'm going to say insert here, a rectangle, but I don't, I don't want to fill, so I'll go back here and say transparent, no fill, no fill. So we'll say insert, a rectangle. Kind of make it look like one of the ones already here in the program for us. Of course, you can get really fancy with these uh, documents and make sure they're all perfect. But for all intents and purposes, we're just kind of demonstrating here right now on how it's going to look. Alright, so that's kind of how we want it to look. So we'll click on File, Save As, and we're going to call this Warehouse Receipt Inspected, for example. And then we've got to publish that document. We'll click on File, Publish Document, and we're going to call it Warehouse Receipt Inspected. And then we need to know our password for our Magai Network ID, which I know and we'll click publish. So now we'll close the document designer and we'll go back to the Magaya Car Explorer and see how we can view that document. We go back to warehousing, warehouse receipts, and I'll go to actions, select template, and I'll select the one I just created called inspected. As you can see here now, the field appears here along with the label that I created. So if I go back now to that document and I edit the custom field that says inspected in process and I say damaged, you can see how that field is automatically displayed in my document. This concludes our video on how to create custom fields in Magaya Cargo Explorer.